Now, it's been months and fighting in Sudan between Sudan's army and the paramilitary forces is still ongoing. The civil war has hampered the economy, created a massive humanitarian crisis, but it has also impacted the country's rich cultural heritage. At least 28 cultural and archaeological sites around the country have been targeted or suffered collateral damage, according to new reports, that is. More details in our next report. Take a look. This fighter from Sudan's paramilitary rapid support forces is giving a tour of the National Museum. He says rumors that the RSF has destroyed such institutions are lies and disinformation. Whether that's true or not, the conflict his faction has been fighting against Sudan's army since April is taking a toll on the country's rich cultural heritage. Experts are scrambling to save what they can. Ibrahim Musa is General Director of Sudan's National Corporation of Antiquities and Museums. We are trying our best to uh, make sure that this monument to report that this monument are known to other people, are report and uh, to us what is going on and what is happening. At least 28 cultural and archaeological sites around the country have been targeted or suffered collateral damage, according to a report published last week by NGO Heritage for Peace. Among the cultural casualties are precious books at a major museum in the capital Khartoum. Sudan also has two UNESCO World Heritage Sites related to the ancient Kingdom of Kush, which controlled trade between southern Africa and Egypt at the time of the pharaohs. The island of Meroe is home to one of the largest ancient pyramid complexes in Africa. Jebel Barkal is a sacred sandstone mountain close to tombs, temples, and palaces that dot the course of the Nile River. Sudanese archaeologist and researcher Ishmael Hamid Noor says those sites are away from Khartoum, reducing the direct risk. But at the same time, the location and its nature uh, 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 intensified the chances of looting and the theft. He added that both sites have become locations where large numbers of displaced people have sheltered.